So as some of you know, I'm currently working with some talented individuals to help bring Bethesda's story over this quest that very few players have fully experienced to life. How we know that not many players have fully experienced this is if you just simply go to your achievements, you can see a percentage of how many players have completed this quest because you do get an achievement after completing it. Only 6.9% of gamers currently have completed this on Xbox. And on PlayStation, only 12.7% of gamers have fully completed this secretive quest. So yeah, that's the reason why we chose this quest in particular. And if you don't know about this project that we're working on to help bring this story more to life, let me go ahead and show you all this teaser over it real quick as far back as i can remember i always wanted to be the mistress of mystery So yeah, it's pretty wild, right? Like, did you see the special effects there in the beginning? You actually see the character's mouth moving, as well as her teeth and everything. Like, this is some really impressive work. I did not do this whatsoever. A highly, highly underrated Fallout content creator that goes by Bloody Mess made all the special effects that you will see in this project. I mean, Bloody has even turned the holotape audio that we'll discover in this quest while progressing through it into actual holograms. How crazy is that? This will be uh, in a future chapter though, it's not in chapter one, currently it's just Viola, a character that's progressing through the Mistress of Mysteries. It's a pretty interesting take on all of this. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to Bloody Mess, I highly, highly recommend you all to. He is, once again, a very underrated Fallout 76 content creator. As you can see, he is currently sitting on 1.5k subscribers, about 1.6. It would be nice if we can get him up higher. I mean, heck, he deserves as much subs as me. He is a great Fallout content creator. You'll see if you go check him out. Also, of course, be sure to check out the Mistress of Mystery lore project that we're working on as well. I have links down below in the description to Bloody Mess's channel and part one to this Mistress of Mystery project to help better explain Bethesda's story to hopefully help players get a little bit more involved in it. You could tell Bethesda put some thought into it. And speaking of involved, let's just go ahead and get into this quest regularly. I won't be getting into the lore too much or reading the terminal logs as much, but I'll be taking y'all through this quest. If you're interested in the lore, once again, just check out the series that we're creating over this quest. A link will be to it in the description. But uh, yeah, so to get started, you're gonna have to find a mistress of mystery dead body. One of them that you can find is located right at the top of Mountainside Bed and Breakfast. It's located right over here from Vault 76. There's a little reference for you. So when you get over here at Mountainside Bed and Breakfast, you just simply wanna go around back here and head up the mountainside. There's actually some stairs that you can take to get up this mountainside here, as you can see. So yeah, at the top of these stairs, you just want to bust right and then continue up some more stairs here. We're just basically towering up these stairs until we come across this body right here. This body will have the worn veil and a damaged holotape on it. This is how you start the quest, as you can see in the top right, into the mystery. Learn the history of Riverside Manor. You will get this right after you listen to the damaged holotape, as you can see here. I'll go ahead and play it for you all to listen into. I need to find a place to settle down for the rest of the day. Gangs are on the move. We must know. The order cannot... Riverside Manor is back. The Raiders are closing in. So there we got a hint to basically go check out Riverside Manor. Seems like some catastrophic events took place here. So yeah, let's go ahead and head on over to Riverside Manor now, which I don't even have the location unlocked on this character. Tag on it. Playing on one of my alts, by the way. Because I've already completed this on my main character. Alrighty, so now I'm officially over here at the Riverside Manor. Once you get over here, you want to make sure you picked up that worn veil that was on the corpse as well, because that's the key for this next part. Literally. It unlocks a door when you wear it. So yeah, make sure you put on the worn veil and just head on inside. A quick fun fact about the Mistress of Mystery is that she was a part of the Unstoppables. But yeah, as you can see, we are now in the Riverside Manor. Once you get in here, you just want to head left 
And as long as you're wearing, you know what, I'm just going to take off the worn veil just for proof. Um, as you can see, this is not opening right now. This will actually open when you put on the worn veil. Check it. Really cool. You can tell once again, but that's to put some thought into creating the side quest for us. But yeah, down here there's also some lasers that you'll need to bypass. And once again, you'll have to be wearing the worn veil to get through these lasers. So now, we just entered inside the Mistress of Mysteries headquarters. I gotta admit, that door is freaking awesome too. It'd be awesome if we could have that as a part of our camp or something one day far in the future, maybe. That would be cool. And as you can see, we just got the first quest completed into the mystery. For this next part here, you'll unlock the Initiate of Mysteries. It's pretty straightforward what you gotta do. Just head on over to one of these terminals and just click this option you get right here. New Initiate Registration. And bada bing, bada boom. You now have the rank of the Initiate. Now the next step is just to simply listen to the Initiate holotape. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm sure you're a little nervous. Which I'm not going to listen to the whole holotape. I'll save that for you if, you know, you go to do this for yourself. Also, there will be a hologram speaking for that holotape in our little mini movie that we're making over this side quest. So yeah, um, if you want, maybe stay tuned for that. Anyways, next step will be to request a mentor assignment once you listen to that initiate holotape. So just go ahead and log in here and then go down to this option here, database queries, and then you'll just want to select this option, mentor assignment. Next up will be to meet our mentor in Lewisburg. But before I do that, let me go ahead and show you all where the fabricator is to take care of this miscellaneous objective. Fabricator is right over here, and you can use this to, as it describes, repair your worn veil. So yeah self-explanatory once you get on the fabricator it'll now be called the veil of secrets when you use the worn veil on the fabricator pretty neat anyways moving along let's head on over to Lewisburg now okay so once you get over at Lewisburg here you're gonna have to find another corpse and that one is located right over here the corpse is our mentor yeah I know, kind of unusual, but that's how it is. So as you can see, here's the course, Natasha Hunt. There's two important things that you'll get from her, the mistress Natasha Hunt's login, and Order of Mysteries Lewisburg. So yeah, let's go ahead and pick those two up. Those are quest related. And now you'll get a little bit more lore over this quest, which I'm not gonna play during this. I just wanted to help y'all through this quest in case some of you may be confused on it, which I think that's why there's such a low amount of percentage of players completing this. It can be kind of confusing if you don't know where you know things are located at and whatnot. Like putting on the worn veil and heading on over to that door to get it to open up to go down into the Mistress of Mysteries headquarters. That's pretty hidden. But anyways, moving on. Now we're gonna have to report to Cryptos, and there's an optional objective here to search for raiders in Lewisburg. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete the optional objective as well, just for those of you that may be curious on how to complete that. The raiders are actually located on the rooftop. So I'm going to try to get to the rooftops without jumping really high, without using my mutation, just so everyone can follow along. Okay, so you may not have the marsupial mutation, you know? So yeah, right over here is where the raider is located. They had them pinned down from up here. Pretty crazy. Yeah, these are Carrie's orders to ambush the Mistress of Mysteries. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's the uh, optional objective. Now let's carry on and report to Cryptos. So we're just going to have to simply head back to the Riverside Manor and get on the terminal again. Alright, so I'm heading back down into the headquarters of the Riverside Manor. And oh my gosh, that door, once again. Welcome it's amazing. Bethesda, put it in the game. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> and this time, however, when we get on the terminal, we're going to be logging in as Mistress Natasha Hunt, this option here. And then choose to authorize promotion. Yes, now we're going to become the novice of mysteries after we authorize this. We are currently like the mentor. We're logging in as Natasha Hunt. Unfortunately, they all died, but we're kind of learning more about them while we progress through this. But yeah, when you get to these names here, you just want to go down to unknown user and bada bing, bada boom. 
you have now completed this part. Now we're just going to have to log in to claim our promotion. So we're going to have to back out here from Natasha Hunt's um, login and go up here to the unknown user. And voila! It's now authorizing the fabricator to dispense a garb of mysteries. This is one of the unique items that you get from this quest. Keep in mind, do not drop this item if you want to keep it. Because you're not going to be able to obtain it again unless you want to go through this quest again. But yeah, anyways, it's also dispensing a novice rank holotape. And I'm not going to be listening to this during this video. Like I mentioned before, I'm just trying to keep this short, simple, and straight to the point to just guide you all through this quest. So we can increase the percentage of players actually completing this quest. I know it can be kind of tricky getting through, and it does involve a lot of reading and listening too. So that's the reason why we're making this mini movie as well. But yeah, as you can see, we have now completed the Initiate of Mysteries. I'm really excited to get the mini movie out to help better explain all this backstory Bethesda has added for us. There's a lot to consume here, <laughs> a lot. And I'm not taking the time to with in this video. So yeah, as you can see next up here, we're going to have to listen to the novice holotape, and we're going to have to claim the garbage mysteries from the fabricator. However, that's a miscellaneous objective. We don't have to necessarily do that. But let's just go ahead and play this holotape so we can get started on the next part to get our next promotion. I'm going to go ahead and head over here as well to get the garbage mysteries too. Bam! So I just got the garb of mysteries. So yeah, here's the garb of mysteries. Here's what it looks like. Um, it gives you it gives you 40 ballistic damage resistance and 40 energy resistance. It also gives you one to perception. Let me go ahead and change my appearance as well, because it's kind of awful to show on a dude. I'll be real. But yeah, as you can see, here's what it looks like. It looks pretty good in my opinion. We're also wearing the veil of secrets too with the garb of mysteries. So yeah. Carrying onward, now we're going to have to earn the Phantom Device, earn the Blade of Bastet, and earn the Voice of Set. These are the tools of the Mistress of Mystery, and we're going to have to try to master them now. So, to get in this one, we're going to have to go back to the terminal here. Log in as unknown user. Head to Mission Board. And here's where you can select each of the tools of the Mistress of Mystery. So just go ahead and select them all so we have more of a direction on where we have to go to craft these. So yeah, now we have initiated three quests here. Chasing Shadows, Forging a Legend, and Prototypical Problems. Each of these will help us unlock the unique items from this Mistress of Mystery questline. So next up here is to listen to all of the holotapes we just acquired from the Cryptos. Once you've listened to the holotapes, now we'll be going to acquire the items that are needed in order to craft these special items that we're going to be getting. Okay, so once you've listened to the holotapes, you don't have to technically listen to them. You can just simply play them to trigger the next sequence of this quest. But yeah, anyways, once you've played them in some kind of way, you then just want to head back to the cryptos. And once you've logged in as the unknown user, you just want to head down here to database queries. And as you can see, we got some new selections here. So first off here, let's go ahead and uh, learn about the fan device components. Next up, let's learn about the historic swords. And lastly up here, let's learn about the weapons research. So now as you can see to the top right, we got some more objectives we gotta do. Okay, so now we're gonna have to go locate hallucinogen gas, we're gonna have to acquire historic sword, and we're gonna have to locate the EMP research program. All of these are pretty self-explanatory. Just, you know, go to the side quest and just pull it up here on the map. Show a map. We'll find hallucinogen gas right down here at Garahan Mining Headquarters. I unfortunately don't have it unlocked currently because I'm playing on an alt character. Just so I can replay this quest to hopefully help guide you all through it. Okay, so I've got, you know, the location unlocked now. Once you're over here, you just want to head on inside the mining headquarters, which is right down here. Okay, in here, we're just going to... Head straight to the hallucinogen gas. It's right back here. In this safe. Bam! Got it. Alright, next up, we're going to have to acquire a historic sword. So let's go ahead and do the forging legend part now. So the historic sword is right over here, next to the White Springs Resort. Alright, so now I'm over here at the cottages of the White Springs Resort. Let's go ahead and take a gander inside. I almost died there straight off the bat over some ghouls. Keep that in mind. There are plenty of ghouls around this area if you didn't know. But yeah, the historic sword's right in there. We're just gonna have to use this terminal. 
to unlock it. But on it, this ghoul got me. Hang on, let me come back. Alright, so I guess it's safe to say to uh, maybe clear out this area before you just run in here and try to loot the sword. But yeah, you're going to have to hop on this terminal once again, back to where we were, and just go down to staff access. Another part's going to pop up here. We're going to have to actually find the terminal password next. And as for the terminal password, that's going to be located in the second story of this building. It's going to be located in the bathroom of this bedroom here. You're going to find a hollow tape in this bathroom. As you can see, this is the presidential cottage password. Once you acquire that, you just head back over to this terminal and you'll be able to unlock it with ease, with no issues. You just have to go to staff access again and just choose to open the display case. So we just got Grant's saber, which is the historic sword. Now, lastly up here, before we go back to the fabricator, we're going to locate the EMP research program. As you can see, it's located over here at Sugar Grove. And once again, I don't have the location unlocked because I'm on one of my other characters, not my main. But I'll just fast travel to this location and head on over there. All right, so now I'm officially at Sugar Grove. Be warned, if you are wearing the Garb of Mysteries, you're not going to be able to wear your regular armor pieces. So yeah, highly advise not to come here with only the Garb of Mysteries on. Unless you're being super sneaky or something. And not rushing how I'm rushing. I'm just kind of skipping all the enemies here and heading straight inside Sugar Grove. Alrighty, so now I'm officially in. Now let's go ahead and locate this EMP research program. We got the yellow indicator to lead us the way through Sugar Grove. It can be kind of confusing going through here, especially if it's your first time going through this place. But yeah, as you can see, the yellow indicator will lead us right here to this terminal. Anyways, we now want to hop on this terminal here and then go down to the research projects. Once here, you'll want to go down to the EMP weapons development. The last choice here, EX-72. And then go to research data. And download the project data. And once you've checked out that log, the next step will be to get a project siphon holotape, which that'll be inside Sugar Grove here as well. Once again, just follow the yellow indicators that'll pop up for this quest if you ever get lost in any kind of way but yeah yellow indicator will lead to this terminal here and oh my gosh there was a robot that I just left hanging out in this room i want to take that out real quick once on this terminal we just want to head down to project siphon and dispense the project siphon holotape so now we've completed that quest step we'll now have to use the project holotape to extract the data once again yellow indicator will pop up of where you need to go we just have to head back to where we just were, on this terminal in here, next to all these blank holotapes around. My gosh. Once back on this, just go to research projects again, and then back down to Pulsar, and then to research data. This is where we're going to download the project data now, using the project siphon holotape that we just got. So once back on this terminal, we'll just want to go to load holotape, as you see at the bottom there, X to do it on Xbox, and then we'll want to select the project siphon holotape. This will download the data onto the holotape. All right, so now we got that done. Now we just have to simply return back to the fabricator, and the fabricator is located in the Mistress of Mysteries headquarters over at the Riverside Manor. Actually, you know what, instead of taking a typical route that we take to get to the Mistress of Mysteries headquarters inside the Riverside Manor, let me go ahead and show you all this shortcut that you can take inside this Pulowski Preservation Shelter here. It has to be specifically this one, but check it out. When you close this one, you'll actually figure out that this is an elevator that'll send you down into the headquarters. Really neat, once again, but that's what went all out with this quest. So many cool aspects about it. But yeah, as you can see, I am officially down here now, and as long as you're wearing the veil, you should be good to go to get right through the laser grids. So yeah, here we are, back in the headquarters. Anyways, we need to go to the fabricator down here to create all these unique items that we can get from this quest so once on the fabricator let's just go ahead and choose the services and select all these options that we now have available bam so we just got the fan device and we also learned how to craft it too okay so for these next ones though i'm going to first off have to upload the data into the fabricator so that means i'm gonna have to load up the holotape that we just used to download 
from Sugar Grove's terminal. But yeah, let's go ahead and upload the data to the fabricator. And this will make it so we can now officially get the voice of set from the fabricator. But before I go ahead and do that, we're gonna also have to attach the swing analyzer to Grant's saber. So I'll need to go over to a weapons workbench, which there's one down in here. Go to modify, and we're just gonna to want to modify Grant's saber with the swing analyzer. Now we're gonna to have to kill different types of creatures with Grant's saber. We'll just have to kill six different creatures. That's pretty self-explanatory. Also, we're gonna to have to use the fabricator to make the voice of set as well from the prototypical problem side quest. Okay, lastly, I can now officially use the fabricator to make the blade of bass dead. So let me go ahead and return back to the Riverside Manor. Now let's go ahead and get this last one knocked out. Bam! So now we have officially unlocked from this quest the Garb of Mysteries, the Voice of Set, which this is what that is, additional electric damage versus robots. It's a little pistol. And we also got the Blade of Bestet. This has increased armor penetration on it. And keep in mind, I'm not a melee build, so yeah, neither am I a pistol build. Also, we got the Phantom Device. And we also unlocked how to craft these, too. What this does, like I said, it's just like a stealth boy, except a little bit better. It frenzies nearby creatures and renders you almost completely invisible. So it's really useful for PvE, for sure. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and now log in to claim our promotion since we just got all of that knocked out. That was pretty much the longest part of this quest. Log in to unknown user. Continue. And voila. We're now ranked Seeker. Now we'll have to listen to the Seeker holotape. And we completed the Novice of Mysteries quest. Once you listen to the holotape, we'll then have to accept a Mistress rank mission. So go to the mission board. And as you can see, we'll have to infiltrate Pleasant Valley. But before we do that, We'll have to listen to the Pleasant Valley Mission holotape to let us know why we're exactly doing this. So once we listen to the holotape, that'll then give us a direction of where we're supposed to be going to on the map. We're supposed to be heading straight to Pleasant Valley Ski Resort now. So let's head on over there. Okay, so once over here, we're going to have to search for information about the Order of Mysteries. And there are a lot of yellow indicators to check out here. So let's begin searching, I guess. You just have to collect everything the yellow indicators lead you to. So next up, we're going to have to find Brody's room, which his room is located right in here. Once you find his room, you're going to have to then find Brody's holotape, or optional, find a password for Brody's terminal. Alright, so Brody's password will be located on this terminal right here. Yellow indicator will lead you to where you need to go, so it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you can choose to hack the terminal here too, you're just going to have to have a level 3 hacking skill. But yeah, let's go ahead and mount the holotape drive now. Click continue, and then click continue again, and let's dispense siphon holotape. Bam. So now we'll have to gain access to the head mistress's office. We just got Mistress Olivia Rivers information now. So last up here is the last part of this quest. I told y'all it's pretty lengthy and I skipped a lot. But anyways, let's gain access to the head mistress's office now. We're going to have to head back to the Riverside Manor in order to do that. Okay, so once back here, we're just going to have to head back onto the Crypto's Terminal and log in as Mistress Olivia Rivers. Once here, just go down to Administrative Actions and choose to Authorize Access. We're now going to be heading into the Headmistress's Office. And then just choose to Authorize Unknown User, which is us. Okay, now we got the Headmistress's Office unlocked. We're going to have to head there, which right here you can see go up to the scanner to unlock it but yeah now we'll, but yeah now we just hop on to the headmistress's terminal which is shannon rivers and then you'll just want to go to from olivia it gets pretty deep if you're reading all these terminal logs but now we'll have to head to the meeting place the meeting will be located right here above pleasant valley cabins it's in the middle of nowhere up here but yeah Let's head there and check it out. All right, so once at the meeting place, you're gonna see a few hallucinogen gas canisters around, ruptured ones, and some enemies will be here too, so keep that in mind. Also, you will find a very, very deep scene here. This is extremely sad over what happened here, but as you can see, there's multiple different quest items that you can find on Shannon River's body. The headmistress. 
you can find Shannon Rivers' login, Shannon Rivers' recording, and the Eye of Ra. So, let's go ahead and pick these up. Once you pick up that holotape, some really, really deep audio is going to come up here about all of this to wrap up the Mistress of Mystery. But anyways, yeah, I'm not going to spoil any of that audio for you. Well then, after listening to holotape, we'll just have to head back to the Riverside Manor to become the Mistress of Mystery. Okay, so now we're back here at the headquarters. Let's go to the Crypto's Terminal. Log in as the Head Mistress, Shannon Rivers. Once again, go to Administrative Actions. And we are going to be authorizing promotion one last time to the Mistress of Mystery. Just make sure to select the right user here, which, you know, the unknown user is us, so yeah. But yeah, now I have to log in to claim this promotion. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Log in as the unknown user. And bada bing, bada boom. Congratulations, mistress. We are now the mistress rank. And that will technically be the end of this secretive quest in Fallout 76 that a lot of players haven't fully experienced whatsoever. I don't know if players are having trouble figuring this out or what. I mean, once again, it is pretty tricky getting all the way through. So hopefully this video can help guide you through. And oh yeah, I forgot to show you all the Eye of Ra as well. As you can see, what this does is it actually gives you 20 extra ballistic damage resistance and 10 extra energy resistance. Honestly, not that bad, especially how you just wear this as a necklace. As you can see, here's what it looks like. But yeah, it equips to the Garb of Mysteries. Unfortunately, you can't wear the Eye of Ra without the Garb of Mysteries. I'll go ahead and show you all that for an example. As you can see, here's what will pop up when you go to try to wear it. You must equip the Garb of Mysteries before equipping the Eye of Ra. But yeah, um, there you guys have it, everyone. Hopefully you found this enjoyable, and it does help you out in some kind of way. This was a lot of fun to make. Hopefully I'll see more players actually complete this quest and get the achievement or trophy so we can raise the statistics of gamers that, you know, have unlocked it. It'd be cool to see more players actually, you know, experience this secret quest. After all, Bethesda did implement it into the game for us to play through. But uh, yeah, also be sure to check out the massive lore project that we are doing over this whole secret quest too. That'll help better explain all of this without you having to read all the terminal logs. We're gonna to try to summarize the Mistress of Mysteries for players to be able to consume easier rather than just playing through, you know, the quest in game. I'll have a link down below in the description to the series if you are interested in it. Your support would definitely be appreciated. Highly grateful if you decide to take the time to check it out. I'm out of here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching and listening. Until next time, peace.